hi there once again welcome to my channel consider subscribing if you are new to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming tutorial in today's video i'm going to show you how to add signature to your gmail account so let's say for instance you want to send email to somebody and then below your email you should have maybe your signature your name your business details written at the description of every email you send to your clients I'm going to show you how to do that in this video stay, so stay tuned for this so let's start so I'm in my gmail account and I just want to demonstrate what we're going to do at the end of this tutorial so we go to compose when, when you click on compose you realize that under this message I've not typed anything but I realize that I have something at the description over here that is my signature so this will show that this message is coming from me the person can reply the person can easily contact me my address my website so i've added this and i'm going to show you how you can switch between these two you can add two or more signatures and switch between them so you can see anytime i type any email and then i send this email to anyone at all this signature will show at the bottom of the message i'm going to show you how to do that and you can see we have some pen button down here it says what insert signature when you move your mouse cursor there it says what insert signature so let's say i have my personal signature and a business signature i can switch between the two so you, this will allow you to switch between them so when i click on this you can see it's now the signature i'm having over here is associated with agitech at gmail.com if you go to timothy if i check on this it's going to change my words my signature over here you realize that this is the same in but this one the contact is very is the contact is just one this one around the contact is just one let me switch back to the adjutant. I can see I have two contacts, my Vodafone and my MTN. But if I switch to my name, I'm having only one contact. So this is these are two signatures that I have. And then I'm going to show you how to create this in a bit. So stay tuned and let's see how we can create this. Like and share this video with friends. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell and then subscribe if you are new to this channel. So let's jump right into action. So I'm going to this account and i'm going to show you how we can create this in order to have this amazing signature associated with your email that you want to send to people all you need to do is that when you are in your email account you go to settings so you click on this gear icon mostly if you're using a desktop you see it at the far right corner you just click on this settings that's the gear icon then you can see we have what see all settings click on all settings and then make sure you have what the general tab we have several tabs over here and then as time goes on i'll show you some amazing things you can do how you can filter and block some email address i'll show you how to do that but our focus is to be on the general tab and then you can scroll down all the way to a place where we have our signature so you can see under general we have an option called signature and right now it's in what new signatures so meaning i've not created any signature for this email account so we are going to create one so we, what we need to do is that we, we're going to click on create new and we're going to give it a name so i'm going to say personal i want to create a personal email a personal signature then i'll, I'll click on that create so once i have this all i need to do is to put my content over there so my personal content is what i'm going to provide so let's say once i send the email the person should know my name and then maybe my business my business name and then maybe my email as well so you can also put your email over there so i'm just going to see are you tech at so i'm going to see are you tech at gmail.com and if you have a website you want to add to it you can go ahead and then do that so the website is going to be www.adutechgmail.com and if you decide to make this a link the website a link you can go ahead and then do that you can highlight everything you can see over here you have just options over and this is giving you an option when you point your cursor here this icon is saying what link so when i click on this this made it what a link so this will directly move people to what my website so we are done with our email and then all we need to do is that we just have to go down here make sure you save this we we'll click on save and then this signature will be added we're going to add a second one so basically i've added what my personal email we'll go through the same process again so i'll go to what setting i'll go to settings again the same process I'll go to what see your settings 
and then we'll add a personal we are going to add a second one too so you need to go at the general setting and then we'll move down here we're going to click on create again and then we'll add the second one so let's say business so i'll just hit what create and then this time around i'll just type business so let's say I'll t in terms of business i'll type my full name So realize that the first email I didn't add my contact, my personal one. I mean, because of business, I want to add my contact to this. So I'll just put a contact over here, and the business name I'll just put stay Agitech, and then I'll still bring email over there. So info at agitechgh.com, and then the website will be www agitechgh.com so that is all i'll still make the website a link select and then click on the link icon here and it's going to be a link so this is our business email and then finally i'm going to create it and i'm going to show you something i'll save it and then we'll come back and do some few settings and then i'll show you how we can use this anytime we want to create we want to send email to individual or client so let's go back to our settings again and this time around we just want to do some few settings and then we are good to go i believe you are enjoying this tutorial remember to subscribe and like this video so finally when we get back there all we need to do is that we're going to set some default settings so let's say signature default for new email use so maybe for a new email let's say personal i'll go for my personal email but you can switch between them and i'm going to do that and on reply or forward i'm still going to use personal and then i'm going to save this so you can set maybe personal one first if i want to switch between them i can switch between them like i said so this one around we want to send email let's assume we want to send emails to the client all we need to do is that we go to what compose so you can see down here i click on compose and automatically it has added what my personal email so that's timothy so it's automatically it's added what timothy that's my personal email then add you tech and then my email and then my website so you can see two and then a client then i can write the body of my message over here so assume i'm sending a, a business email and i want to switch from my personal one to let's say business email you can see we have this pen you can see we have this pen icon over here so insert signature i can click on that and now i have option to switch between what business and a personal so when i check personal a business you can see now I'm having my second what signature that's timothy ajokache this time around my contact if you decide not to use email for you decide not to use signature in the email you want to send you can still use the same icon click on the icon and go to what no signature and you can send this without what a signature so you can use this option to switch between your emails and then you can have a nice signature attached to that and it's a nice way of what getting client to to talk to you to easily reach out to you so you can add signature and then you know where this email is coming from and then people can easily respond to you directly you can add email image and other things to it thank you so much for watching this short story i have amazing stuff techniques coming your way in order not to miss any of this remember to subscribe don't don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming tutorial so like come your way again bye bye